In 2023, Sony introduced the A9 III, a full-frame mirrorless camera with 24 megapixels. It prioritizes speed, making it ideal for sports and wildlife photography. On the other hand, the Nikon Z9, released in 2021, is a 45-megapixel full-frame mirrorless camera designed as a versatile all-rounder, excelling in both stills and video. In this video, we're conducting a head-to-head -head comparison between the Sony A9 III and the Nikon Z9 to assist you in choosing between these two full-frame cameras. Design The Sony A9 II maintains a familiar design, consistent with previous Sony Alpha cameras. It adheres to the principle of if it ain't broke, don't fix it, staying true to the successful design formula of its Alpha predecessors. In contrast, the Nikon Z9 adopts a distinctive approach by incorporating an integrated grip with duplicated vertical controls reminiscent of D-Series DSLR cameras. As a result, the Z9 is initially larger and heavier than the A9 III. However, attaching a vertical battery grip to the Sony camera significantly reduces the size and weight differences between them. Both cameras boast full weather sealing, as expected from models designed for professional use. Performance The Nikon Z9 is equipped with a 45.7 megapixel stacked BSI CMOS image sensor, coupled with the latest EXP EE D7 processor. In contrast, the Sony A9 III features a stacked Exmor RS CMOS sensor with a resolution of 24.6 megapixels and incorporates two of the latest BIONZ XR processors. Notably, these BIONZ XR processors provide eight times more processing power compared to the BIONZ X processor found in the previous A9 II. If resolution is a critical factor in your decision making, the Z9 emerges as the superior choice due to its nearly double the megapixel count. Both camera models employ a stacked CMOS sensor with integral memory. This design not only enhances image quality through higher pixel numbers compared to conventional CMOS sensors but also contributes to increased imaging speed for faster burst shooting. Additionally, the stacked CMOS sensor improves low-light imaging capabilities, making these cameras well-suited for various shooting conditions. The significant distinction between them lies in their sensor technology. The A9 III employs the world's first ever 35mm full-frame global shutter image sensor, whereas the Z9 follows a more conventional progressive sensor design. Unlike the Z9, which reads out the sensor line by line, the global shutter in the A9 III allows for an instantaneous readout of the entire sensor in one go. This distinction carries several crucial advantages. The global shutter virtually eliminates rolling shutter effects in video, preventing distortion of movement when the subject moves quickly across the frame. Additionally, it minimizes flicker and banding issues under artificial lights, all while providing an exceptionally high shutter speed of 1 80,000th second. Shutter Speed The Z9 boasts a rapid electronic shutter, providing a maximum shutter speed of 1 32,000th second. However, the A9 III takes it a step further with an even more impressive 1 80,000th shutter speed for stills. It's worth noting that currently, the maximum shutter speed for the A9 III is 1 16,000th second when set to any burst shooting mode, including the low setting. However, this is expected to change to 1 80,000th second in March 2024 through a firmware update. Video the Z9 provides UHD 8K video recording at 60p, 30p, and 24p without any crop, and it supports 4K up to 120p, utilizing the full frame with no crop factor. Additionally, it allows for 4K UHD video oversampled from 8K when recording in the 30p, 25p, and 24p modes, enhancing sharpness and detail. Internal recording with 10-bit color and 4, 2, 2 sampling is supported through the ProRes 422HQ and H.265 codecs. The A9 III incorporates 6K oversampling for distortion-free 4K 60p and 4K 120p, without any cropping. It supports 10-bit 4, 2, 2 S-Log3, S Cinetone, featuring dynamic active mode stabilization, breathing compensation, and the availability of custom LUTs. Autofocus 
The autofocus system of the Sony A93 features 759 on sensor phase detection points, covering about 95% of the image area and capable of focusing down to 5 EV. This AF system can identify humans based on their pose, eyes, and face. Even if the person's head is turned away from the camera, the AI deep learning ensures accurate human subject detection. Furthermore, the AF system can recognize a diverse range of subjects, including animals, birds, insects, airplanes, and cars, trains. Notably, it can now focus on helmets within the car, train category, identify the eyes of grazing and small animals, and more effectively pinpoint the eyes of various bird types while also recognizing bird bodies. The Nikon Z9 is equipped with a 493-point phase detection autofocus AF, system, featuring 405 auto area AF points that cover 100% of the frame. Notably, it demonstrates impressive focusing capabilities in low light, achieving focus in levels as dim as 9 EV when utilized in starlight mode. This AF system excels in subject tracking for various subjects, including humans, dogs, cats, and birds, even those in flight. It extends to tracking vehicles, encompassing planes, trains, bicycles, and motorbikes. Moreover, the AF system demonstrates a smart feature. If a driver is wearing a helmet, it will prioritize and lock onto the helmet, ensuring that the most crucial subject remains in sharp focus. IBIS Both cameras feature 5-axis optical in-body image stabilization that corrects for pitch and yaw shake. The Nikon Z9 is equipped with a 5-axis in-body image stabilization system that provides up to 6 stops of compensation, particularly effective when paired with select Z-series lenses that feature their own built-in vibration reduction VR, system. In contrast, the A93 takes a step further with a newly redesigned stabilization unit, offering an impressive 8 stops of in-body stabilization. This makes it the most capable alpha camera in terms of stabilization. Additionally, the A93 introduces two electronic stabilization modes for video recording. The Special Active Mode enhances stabilization for handheld movie shooting by leveraging the BIONZ-XR processors. For even greater compensation, albeit with an increased crop factor, the new Dynamic Active Mode improves stabilization by over 30% compared to the standard Active Mode. Final Thoughts Deciding between the Sony A93 and the Nikon Z9 boils down to whether you value the unique global shutter technology of the former and your preference for size and handling. Otherwise, these cameras are closely matched in terms of features and capabilities. Your sentence is mostly correct, but it would be clearer with a slight revision. So, that was all about the Sony A93 versus Nikon Z9. These cameras have a lot to offer. What do you think? Let us know in the comment section below which one you are getting.